Guys, it's John from Twisted Millie Detailing here with a nether windshield on a Tesla. This one is actually, in fact, a Model 3. I'm not making that mistake again. As you can see, there is a crack right here going all the way down. So, time for a new one. And this time, all of this has to come out. So, follow us as we go ahead. Didn't want to edit that part out. It's not a 10 mil. <laughs> He's quick this morning. He hasn't had all of his coffees. When you get the right socket, it helps. See the entire front on this one does come out as it's right there on the floor. And we got the Tay Tay Taylor not so swift in here. Hello. I'm hooking the camera. Hello. <clears throat> Dirty. And as we know, there's a battery that runs the whole car. Like on all Teslas. As you can see, you got all the camera stuff down now. And Jeff is cutting out the bottom of the window. shops in town that will do Tesla windows. I'm not quite sure why. They're not all that hard. Pretty similar to any other window out there, but most shops in town here won't do it, and we do. So if you need a window done, give us a call, even on your Tesla. See, just like the other one, your camera, lane departure, all that stuff all goes here, clips in, bolts in, and the cover goes over back over top, which is all hanging down right here. Jeff getting all of his wire all ready to put through the window and cut the rest of the glass out. Maybe this time we won't get caught up here on the little plastic pieces that go into the body. But you never know. Fishing all the rope through for string. Once in a while it gets caught and just big heads in the way to film. You want some help? Yeah, I'm good, man. I wasn't gonna help you. I, I just wanted to know so. if you wanted some. It's nice for the offer once in a while, though. Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> How'd you break the window there? Well, that didn't do it. No, I battle axed it. Oh. Anyway, curse flat. Actually, I guess not curse flat. Tesla's fancy door handles. Well, the only feature on a Tesla that I actually like. Just gonna snug up the rope now. Sometimes. You want the front closed? No, it's all right, man. See? I offer help, he doesn't even want it. I said I don't need it. No, oh, you need help. Not the help you can offer, though. As you can see, the rope goes up and around. That plastic piece there is to prevent it from 
damaging any of the interior parts inside the car. Now let's see what happens here if we get caught like we did last time. Headliner too thick there. If you get caught on something, yep. never fails. See, the problem is most cars don't have this thick of black up top. They usually only have about this much. So because they've got all this, there's so much things inside here that we can catch on. It's kind of a pain in the ass. See if it catches here. Yep, make it a buy that one by the looks of it. Yep. That one is clear. See, you have how thick that glass is right there, but even though the bead of urethane is only going to be up here, they have all of this and there's hooks all the stuff there. Let me show you on a different window, on a traditional car. That's all you have for black. Just two inches, nothing bigger. Even on some of these other brand new ones. That's it, just two inches. Makes things a lot easier when you're pulling glass out, when that's all you have. But then when you get the Tesla windows, and they've got, you know, all of that, you catch on things. You're actually using a blue stick to try to avoid anything, because as you remember from the last video we did on a Tesla, all up in here and across there is wiring for the camera and you definitely do not want to damage that because instead of making money on a windshield replacement you'll be spending money on a windshield replacement and i can't imagine anything on these cars is cheap so you use the blue stick and you use that plastic cover right there they use to avoid any damage and there goes a the plastic clip Snug the string back up. Somehow he's got his lines crossed. I want them crossed, unfortunately. Dirty. Now let's see how this works. We can get past that plastic clip or Jeff will be doing it the old school way again and cutting it out by hand. Wrong way. Yeah, looks like we're gonna get this one. And as long as Jeff's got it cut out all the way around, once that last little corner goes, it should drop down a little bit. All right, got her all, now she's coming out. Garbage. You can see, nice and clean. But as I was talking about earlier, as you can see, there's a wire that goes up and around for the camera. And that goes all the way down here and then down into the ECM. So the last thing you want to do is cut those wires because it's going to be costly getting that all rewired. So we don't want to do that. So as you can see, the broken window's out. But here, as I was telling you, the big gaps. And these are the clips on this one's different style clips. They didn't have the white clips. This one has black clips going across that we were catching on. But as you can see, you got all this black to the urethane here and in this corner, nothing there. It just makes it a huge pain in the ass to try to cut these windows out. And then here, Jeff has to unscrew. Don't mean to invade your space here. Unscrew this can, little Can you see the screw? Board. 
that little sunglass style screw, that computer board gets changed over and put into this one right here. So can't throw those windows out just yet or you'll be dumpster diving and getting back in there to get that out. If you're wondering what this mess of wires are, that is your heated wiper park area. As you can see, this one's not cut. It's got a nice brand new end on it. So your heated wiper park area is across here, across this whole bottom. There's defrost lines. Some windows you can see them, some you can't. But what that does is when your wipers are in the off position, it keeps them defrosted for you. So they don't freeze up in theory. A lot of newer cars have, not just Tesla. Um, but most cars you can actually see the defrost lines similar to what your back window would look like. Um, so Jeff's already got the new window set and ready. I missed videotaping it because, you know, it was quicker than I got here. But that is now in the new window, ready to go, and out of the old window. Now it's time to prep everything. You gotta get the window around here to frame cleaned up so you cut down the old urethane all around the whole window, prime it, lay down the new bead, and set your window in place, and set your timer, and wait for it to cure. Put your camera back in, and start putting the front and everything else back together. So this is where Jeff is cutting out the old urethane, and Cutting towards you is always the safest bet. Rule number one, don't cut towards yourself. Jeff's not the quickest one in the bunch. Knock on wood, I still have yet to have stitches. No, but you sure bled a lot. Yeah, oh yeah, that's that Including today. <laughs> <laughs> you do your best when you're cutting it out like this to not nick the paint because, you know, rust. But... As you can see now, he's putting activator around all the seal, the seam he just cut out. So the urethane has something to stick to. And then Taylor over here, doing nothing like always. I'm just having a drink. Yeah, he's supposed to be cleaning that truck. I am cleaning it, it looks better than it Yeah. That's what we say about you two when it's dark out. <laughs> What did that make in the video? You look great in my eyes videos. <laughs> you know, you'd look much better if you looked like somebody else. See, Jeff's getting his suction cups ready, which is called the little buddy. And this helps put the window in when you're by yourself. You put that lever right here inside that lever right there and use the handle on the other side and swing it around you'll see that happen in a second here
It's much easier when you have that. It does make life so much easier. How'd you manage that? This is when you screw up and Jeff's got the wires up here, not hanging down. So he's got to fix that before he breaks the window. <laughs> Redo! We're gonna edit that one out. Cause now I gotta fuck up my whole beat. Yeah. Don't let that happen, guys. You can take it right out. I have to. I gotta do the whole beat. Correct the oopsie that Jeff did. He did this, which is what he normally does, is tape it up here so it's where it needs to be. But, you know, things happen. We fixed it before it got too far in. Now he's just blending up his seams again. And we'll drop the window back in place. All right, we're going for it again. This time, as you can see, it's taped where it needs to be. Let's see how the little buddy works. And this time, the heated wiper park area wire is there. Taylor working hard, as you can see. This is break time. I'll take a break. Boss says take a break, I take a break. You were working really hard today. Me? I didn't work. I wanted to hard. <laughs> I just mispronounced hardly. <laughs> working harder, hardly work. I don't like to strain myself as I work. Oh, we get that. Like, you gotta, you gotta break. Big problem averted. Everything is good wires where it needs to be temporarily and then we'll plug it in down there once we get to that point. Windshield's in. Taylor's opening up the trunk or frunk. 324. So now the wire here that Jeff forgot to tape up there in the first place. Plugs in right there. That's your heated wiper park area. And then it clips into there. Bob's your uncle, you're done. And then it's just a matter of putting in all of this stuff back in again. And cleaning it up. As you can see, we've got the cowl back on. Jeff's putting the wipers on, and this time he's remembering to put the washer fluid in before we put the rest of the front together. Generally, you only make a mistake once and learn from it. Jeff makes them lots of times to make sure that it was correctly to make the mistakes. <laughs> when doing this, try to always ensure that your wipers are lined back up where they are so when you use them, they're functioning correctly and getting every inch of the window that's needed. And then after that, he's gonna come down here and reassemble all this camera. <clears throat> and then put the rest of the front together. And then the car will be done. Very strange design. Oh, you forget the wire? Yeah, the wire. I won't bore you with the boring parts here of him reassembling with the bolt that, that you don't forget. It goes to the wiper fluid. If I can find the hole. Is that a problem you have regularly? Generally, yes. Much gooder. <clears throat> and what are you clipping back together there? 
the open front button. From inside? Yeah. Okay. In case you lock your children in. Well, that's a small hole to be doing that in. Small children. I guess so. The final piece for the assembly of under the hood, or frunk as they call it. Family. And he's a uh, little crazy. <clears throat> Did all of it myself? You ain't done yet. Okay. I just saw your celebration dance there. You still have all of this part. I think you'd be getting used to this by now since you keep doing these cars. I should be, but I'm on the wrong side of the car. I actually should be on that side. Then I'll move and you come sit over here. Well, I was hoping I could just slide into place, but it's not cooperating at all. Switch! <clears throat> okay. Let's try this again. Oh, we weren't worried. <clears throat> you got your little screws. We skipped a bit of the boring part of Jeff fiddling around trying to get that in there, but we got the cover on, and now we just got to do the last little bit of a bracket and get that on, peel the tape off, clean the window, and Bob's your uncle. The car is done. And weirdly enough, Jeff's uncle is Bob. True story. My dad's also named Bob. Different Bobs. Are you sure? Different Bobs. I would like to hope so. Are you sure? Not really. No, I'm adopted. I know. I wouldn't want you either. <laughs> Somebody definitely gave you away. You're a discount. Not even for a fair price. Yeah, you're a discount, baby. That's a line. That's good. That's good. That's good. So now we'll just peel this tape off and... Give her a clean, and she's done. And that is a Tesla Model 3 windshield. And I got it right this time because I made a mistake when we were doing the Model Y and called it a 3 because I know Tesla so well. Later. Peace. Bye.